Scott, congratulations off the substitutes bench. First, second or third touch, you get your first goal for a football club. Can't be mad at that. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't get any better than that, does it? Um, just delighted, really. That's all I can say. It's How significant happy. is it to, as a striker, get a goal as early as possible to get off the mark at a new club? It is. It's always good to get any goal at any time, but for your first game, it gives you the confidence, gives lads confidence in you, and you can just go from there. What did you make of the performance as a whole? It was a great performance, professional. It's what we needed. To, they're gonna. This is their cup final. They're gonna be right at it, which they were first, first ten minutes, and we just needed to to match match their energy levels and then the quality would show. Obviously, you've only just joined the group, um, but can you talk to me about the reasons why you've joined Notts County? It's just a no-brainer. It's a massive club. Uh, shouldn't be where it is. It needs to be back in the football league, and I, I want to be a part of a team that can bring it back first time last year. How have you made of the the group so far in there? The players that you're playing with. It's a it's a good, very good group. Um, some good, uh, good players, good squad, and, and team spirit's there. You could, you could tell straight away. And like I, I've mentioned before, that team spirit is always going to get you far in in the national league, and it's here. You don't have a bad record of scoring goals at, at Meadow Lane, if I'm if I'm right in thinking. There's a smile on your face. If I go back to Boxing Day of, of last season um, when you were playing for Macclesfield, um, have you had to remind any of your new teammates in there of of that day? I've mentioned it once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> you got one, a of, of goals, one, one at each end, so, so, <laughs> so yeah. it bowls well. It's, it's a weird thing though, but I wonder if you're one of those strikers that have got superstitions like that. That you look no. at a ground like this and go, do you know what? Actually, I go all right. Yeah, definitely. Uh, like I said, at both ends. So, because there was a time at Macclesfield when I was just scoring at one end, um, and it was annoying me. But so, but like both ends here, and I've scored again at that end. So, I'm just happy. I'm just um, happy. That sees you through the FA Trophy semi-finals. Obviously, it's going to be very busy, congested fixture list as well between now and the end of the season. Um, how ready are you? How ready is that group to, to mock in and play a lot of games in the yeah. next couple of months? Yeah, but like I said, the quality is there, so it's gonna it's gonna take all of us. It's gonna gonna need everyone to play their part, but it's definitely definitely can do it. Appreciate your time, Warren. Well no problem. Thank you, Scott. The, the, the goal that you scored does that epitomise the, the qualities that you've got? Yeah, that's that sort of. That's my game, really. Sort of playing on the shoulder, getting slipped in, and then one v one with the keeper. It's, it's not always going to be that easy, but that's that's my ideal situation. And I've practiced many times to be in that position. So, yeah, that was ideal. When, so, talk us through the move. When did you first become apparent that that, that knots were interested? Um, it's sort of there was, there's been con contact sort of in January, um, just just that like contact, and uh, obviously with the backlog of games, it it was apparent that. It needed to happen sooner rather than later. So when it when when I got the call this week, I was I was definitely going to jump at it. And how much of a relief is it to come off the bench and, and score your first goal? You know, as a striker, you want to hit the ground running, don't you? Yeah, exactly. And it's, <coughs> it's a great feeling. It is a great feeling. Um, there's no denying that. So I'm just just happy. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, in, in terms of uh, your record here last season, it's, it is a bit ironic, isn't it? Because I think that win pretty much sealed Notts' fate on, on, on that Boxing Day, and yet you find yourself here now trying to get back in the league after sending them back out of it. I was, <laughs> <laughs> it's, been, it's, it's been mentioned that I've sent, sent. There was a lot of games after that, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think for for uh, for Macclesfield at the time, it was that was what spurred us on. That we it was a relegation rival, and we we kept come to. Well, here I was going to say your place, but uh, <laughs> come here and won. Um, that that's what spurred us on, really. Um, but yeah, so so now I'm here. I, I do want to try and help the club get back up first time with Askin. How difficult has it been at Oldham this season? Because I think there was some reports last night that the club might be on the verge of going into administration. How difficult has it been there this year? Off the field, is not. There's been a few few issues, but it's not been the worst. It's just personally, on a personal level, it's just just not really had the chances to get on the pitch and, and try and show what I can do, which is frustrating and hence why, I, why I've decided to come here. Have you just had to settle on appearances from the subs bench or is it, have you been in, in and out of the team? or Sort of in and out, um, <clears throat> in and out of the start and then sort of when the, when the manager changed, it was a bit of a struggle to get in. I didn't really, I don't think I played more than two, started more than two games in a row and it, as a striker, you just need to get a run of games and to, to try and get your confidence with, with a few goals but it just didn't happen there for whatever reason so um, hopefully I can come here and try and try and rectify that And where do you see your long term future? Long term future I just want to try and impress here impress the manager impress uh, 
yeah, impress the manager and the, the staff and see, see what can happen up in here and <clears throat> yeah, go forward.